friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emily. I love DIY projects, thrifting, and really all things crafting. If you watched one of my recent videos, then you saw that I now am renting a booth space in a local like vintage rehab kind of shop. Super excited, love that place. The vibes there are just awesome, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. So this video, I'm going to take you along with me as I got set up into the booth and I'll show you everything once it's done. And I also wanted to show you how I transformed this hutch that I got off the of Facebook Marketplace into this. And I got to put it in my booth and it is my focal point of the booth. So let's get started on this hutch and then we'll come back here before we go down to the booth. The top of the hutch comes off so that was easily set aside and I decided to do the two-toned look so I sanded the top of the bottom piece down with I started with 100 grit and then from there I went to 180 and then to 220 a nice smooth finish and I do end up staining that with honey uh, by Minwax so I really wanted to not keep this super dated so I removed those whatever those are called I removed them and I filled the holes with spackle and sanded those down I also removed any type of contact paper or felt or anything that was in any of the drawers and then I gave it a really good clean I'm using the white lightning by Dixie Bell um, it's a really good cleaner if you don't have that you know warm soap and water will do and this is exactly why you want to clean your piece that's disgusting so um after i stained it i was kind of going back and forth with co which color i wanted to do but before i decided on the color i knew i ultimately wanted to have black hardware so once i removed all of the hardware i just gave it a couple coats of um, black spray paint and once that fully dried then i clear coated all of the hardware for protection i did notice that when the, when I cleaned it, some of the like varnish or stain was coming off. So I did prime it and I used shellac as well. There was some areas of bleed through. So this gave me a run for my money um, in certain spots. So I ended up settling on Sawmill Gravy by Dixie Bell. It is a beautiful light gray color. I have used it on several pieces and they have sold really quickly. Um, I love this piece or this color, excuse me, and it looks great on this piece. So this top piece of the hutch definitely gave me some bleed through, even though I had sprayed it with shellac and clear coat. So what I ultimately had to do was two layers of white primer and then I was able to do um, this sawmill, the chalk paint with the sawmill gravy. So like I said, it just gave me a run for my money, but the end result was great. I did very little distressing. I just distressed just around like the edges of the drawers and a little bit around like the, the detailed areas on the hutch. Other than that, I did not do any distressing. I wanted to keep it fairly clean looking and I did seal it with, um, with a uh, clear wax by Dixie Bell. I did not use a polycrylic because it, I did a little test area and it started to bleed through. So I just attached my, I reattached the, the hardware and this hutch was good to go. I really hope you guys like it. hope you guys like the transformation of this hutch. I loved it so much. I really wanted to keep it in my house and I wanted to swap that hutch for the one that's behind me. Yes, I love this hutch, but I loved how large the other one was. 
So I'm gonna have to keep my eye out for another one and then bring this one down there so that I can get a large hutch here. So now that I'm done with that, let's go to the vintage store. A lot of these items are thrifted items that have been in um, hauls and there are a few items that I have recently upcycled that will be on upcoming videos coming out soon. So I also just wanted to do a huge shout out and thank you to my husband and to my friends for helping me move in to the booth and keeping me company while I try to set up. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this process and let me know what you guys think about my items. I do have other upcycles and items at my house that I'm holding on to until my October 1st event, the Junk and Pumpkin. Um, once that event is done, anything that I have not sold, I will bring and put into the booth as well. So that will be coming later. So I hope you guys enjoy. hope you guys enjoyed this quick video I know it's shorter and it's a little different from my other ones but I wanted to take you guys with me I really love this this vintage store it's open concept which I really like I'm not confined to a strict 10 by 10 space I think I have roughly like a an 8 by 6 space but it's open concept people can walk all around they can walk in and out and I just really love the flow of it and how everything feels there and the vibes there like I said are just they're just so great all the vendors there have amazing pieces and I cannot wait to continue to fill my space with wonderful items that I find as well as upcycles so like I said I hope you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please consider subscribing and stick around for more DIY videos to come I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all in the next video bye